Uko tayari? Okay. Um, we have had a meeting of a Zimio a summit attended by all members and uh, we have reviewed the issues that uh, are affecting the country at the moment, um, particularly the issue of the budget. And we have a statement uh, that's going to be read on our behalf by Honorable Wycliffe Ambetsa Oparanya, who is uh, our Shadow Minister for Finance. Thank you. Uh, Sandy Baba, uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's uh, press conference of the ASMIO Summit. We have had a meeting of ASMIO Summit and the technical team regarding the inaugural budget estimates including its so-called amendments that Kenya Kwanza moves for second reading in the National Assembly tomorrow. After going through the document, our position remains that the budget proposal remains flowed beyond redemption. As we said earlier, no amount of amendments can redeem this bill. There are things that are deeply passionate and unrelenting about. We believe Kenyans have been hurt for a prolonged period of time. The budget proposal prolongs and worsens the suffering of the people. As a party, we believe Kenyans will thrive when we cut, not when we increase taxes. We believe the country will thrive when we moderate our expenditure. This bill remains expenditures and proposes to spend what we don't have. We believe the country will do better when we devolve more in line with the Constitution. This bill proposes to devolve less and instead ask for more money for the national government for otherwise devolved functions. We believe our country will function better when we strengthen the middle class. This budget will kill the middle class, and when we kill middle class, we hurt millions of our people. We believe in extending and expanding social security protection to, to our people. This bill diminishes social protection. We believe in creating an enabling environment for manufacturing, so that more investors can set up in our country and provide jobs for our people. The bill offers little, if any, in terms of encouraging manufacturing. We believe in empowering the private sector and enabling it to do driver of growth, to be the driver of growth in our country. The bill frustrates the private sector with taxes. We are passionate about extending a helping hand to women and particularly to single mothers and the youth. This bill takes away from our women and our youth. We are passionate about access to quality education and ensuring no single child is left behind. This bill will diminish those opportunities. In the nutshell, we believe that this country needs and deserves a people's budget. We repeat, 
We believe in a people's budget. We believe in the rights best budget. The budget is coming. Kenya will have the people's budget. We believe in a country that lives within its means so that we are not held hostages by countries that lend us money. <clears throat> Borrowing to spend is not a, wi a wise idea. What we have, we have here is not a people's budget. What we have here is a leader's budget. Finally, we believe in a budget that is sold to Kenyans as one indivisible country and people. Because Kenya, Kwanzaa, realizes the entire piece is punitive. It is dividing, stigmatizing, and threatening our people. It is trying to isolate central Kenya so that the region does not engage fully in debating this bill. They are dividing our youth into mungiki, drunkards, and drug addicts so as to stop them from participating in any opposition to this budget. Our members of parliament are mobilized, whipped, and aligned. They will reject this and the people bill. We now appeal to you, the Kenya Kwanzaa MPs. We know that in your hearts of hearts, you know the budget is wrong. We urge you to join your Asimio counterparts and stand with the people. We ask Mama Mboga, what wa Mjengo, what wa Mkokoten, what wa Boda Boda, the teachers, the nurses, the doctors, the hawkers, among others, to ask themselves, does this budget serve your welfare? Will this budget leave you better than you are? You are currently, or that you were, you were as Kenya Kwanza was campaigning in 2022. If the answer is no, tell your MP to vote against this bill. Otherwise, we appeal to Kenyans to be on standby and the lookout in the event they run, they run, they run this through your throats. Don't give up. Don't surrender. Join us in the next course of action that we, we will communicate soon. We shall emerge stronger. We shall overcome. Thank you. Thank you. Any question? None. Yes, sir. Kwa kiswahili tu, mwishimi waparanya, tayari umesema kwamba You've said that uh, another budget uh, will be read soon and we want to know under what circumstances or what structure is as Mio or is another budget may be read. You wanted me to say in Swahili? Yes. Bile unajua sisi kama as Mio tulikuwa na our own manifesto. Tulikuwa na manifesto yetu. Na katika yu manifesto tulikuwa tutafanya wanainji mambo fulani. Kwa hivyo ile pachete ambayo sisi tunafikiria ambayo itasaidia wananchi wa Kenya na ile bajeti ambayo inalingana na ile manifesto ambayo tulikuwa tunaambia wananchi tutawafanyia hayo mambo tukiwa kwenye serikali ya Asimio. Jina langu ni Mike Kaguongo kutoka TV47. Swali langu ni je, hii bill kuna kitu kimoja au viwili vizuri ambavyo mmeviona kama azimio ama mnataka wabunge wa vitu pili au aitupilie yote kwa ujumla unajua vile vitu hata tukiwa na kitu kimoja kizuri au vitu viwili vizuri lakini yale yako mengi ni mabaya sasa uwezi kufanya amendments kila kila kipengele ndio kwa sababu tunasema hii bill si bill mzuri 
ni bili mbaya itupuliwe mbali ndio but you had something to say ngoja 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 kupitia My name is Gatete Njoroge from Citizen TV. My first question is if any Azimio MP goes against your directive, what course of action will you take and when is soon if the if the bill is passed today when uh, sup your supporters expected to get the way forward? Thank let, you sir. Let, let, let us wait that uh, uh, when it when we cross the bridge. Let us wait after the voting the decision will come from this summit what action will be taken against the members of parliament who are as in asmio but what i can assure you that all members of parliament have been mobilized to vote against this bill and in any event Mala. in in any event asmio is not in the habit of threatening members of parliament mm. yeah, yeah. and after this budget which is clearly anti people Azimio will be busy taking the next steps. We are reminding Kenyans this budget will hurt them where it matters most. Food, medicine, fuel, cost of living, and many more as has been outlined. We are reminding Kenyans they are not helpless. The constitution gives you sovereignty. Let us wait and if the voices of the people are not heard, people must exercise their sovereignty. As a person from Mount Kenya, I have a message to William Ruto. Following his utterances, calling our youth Mungiki yesterday, I want to remind him that these are the same youth he requested for votes from, calling them hustlers. I want to remind him these are the same youths he instructed his lieutenants to use a section of unemployed youth from Mount Kenya for criminal activities, raiding the farm of the Kenyatta family. Also causing mayhem in Kibera and other places during the demonstrations. Azimio has not used our youth from Mount Kenya or from any other place for criminal activities stop profiling youth from Mount Kenya. This is meant to curtail any political activity in Mount Kenya. It is meant to cow us as leaders from Mount Kenya and maybe make us afraid of mobilizing. We want to tell you that constitution you opposed is the constitution of Kenya today. We will exercise our rights we will go to Mount Kenya to discuss the budget like we will go to all other places in Kenya. You will not curtail our rights. And do not tell people of Mount Kenya all any Azimio principle like Wajakoya that he cannot visit Mount Kenya. Mount Kenya is Kenya. We are going to visit every part of this country and you will not start zoning of places. That is the message, but Kenyans not to forget, our faith is in our hands. Let us join together and fight this killer budget. Uh, Santi sana. Uh, <coughs> sisi kutoka Mount Kenya, tunahusuni kidogo. Tumesikia kwamba kuna idhini ambayo imetokea kwamba waluya wengine wasikanyange katika eneo ya wakikuyu. Iyo ilitolewa jana ama juzi na wakanza na lafiki yetu wajakoya. Ikasemekana kwamba ni hatia wanjakoya kuja katika eneo ya Mount Kenya. Na iyo inatoka kutoka afisi ile ku ama inajiita ku ambayo inastahili kuwa inalida uhulu wa kutembea mimi ningependa kusema ya kwamba waluya ni ndugu zetu kama wakikuyu 
wa kalejini ndugu zetu wa masai wa jaluo na kila kabila katika Kenya hii wana sehemu katika eneo ya Mount Kenya kwa sababu sisi hufanya biashara na wao sisi huana na wao na sisi tunajiona kama wa Kenya kwa hivyo kama kiongozi kutoka Mount Kenya ningependa kuwaalifu ndugu zetu kutoka jamii zote karibu arobaini na kitu kwamba huo sio msimamo wa watu wa Mount Kenya tunamwalika nyote wajakoyo akuje atoli akuje oparanya akuje mudavadi akuje na wale kutoka jamii zingine wakuje na mimi ndiye nitakuwa kwanza ku host wajakoya katika mlima Kenya wajakoya tengeneza siku mkuje mkuje na baba na wabaluia wote mkuje tucheze isukuti Mount Kenya hiyo nyingine ni mambo ya youth wetu Kenya kuna makabila zaidi ya 45 Sijasikia kiongozi yeyote akiongea kuhusu vijana wa Wamasai, vijana wa Wakalejin, vijana wa Waturkana ama vijana kutoka jamii nyingine yeyote. Sijui hii taifa inauliza vijana wa Kikuyu nini. Kama kuna wezi kila community ina mwizi mmoja. Lakini hapa Wamelad hapa serikali imekuja Central Kenya kuongea kutuhuzu vijana wetu. Watu waende wakaongee kuhuzu vijana wao. Na hatuwezi kubali kama jamii vijana wetu wawekwe uoga ili wakiwa wazee na wakina mama wawe ni wazee na akina mama ambao hawana msimamo. Sisi kama viongozi kutoka Central na tumeungana na viongozi kutoka eneo zingine zote tutalida vijana wetu ili wasibadikwe majina na viongozi na nataka kurudia vile ambavyo tulisema tutachukua hata hatua ya kwenda kwa UN ili tuulize why are our youth being profiled na mimi ningependa mawakili wetu waanze kutayarisha na nimewaambia kabla waguze kijana mwingine mmoja ile damu ambayo ilitoka wakati wameuliwa vijana wetu hiyo kwanza walipe kabla ya wafikirie jama ya kuwa vijana kutoka Central Kenya wakiwaita mungiki. sisi tutaenda UN vijana wetu hawatowekwa baridi na kiongozi yeyote katika jamhuri ya Kenya Nikusema tu mkubuke mkubuke wakati wa ICC the witnesses the kikuyu youth witnesses of what happened in Lift Valley waliitwa mugeki na wakauawa wote na wale waliita waliwaita mugeki wakati huo ndio wamewaita mugeki wakati huu hiyo jamaa haitawezekana sahau